We've got another food challenge for me this morning. One of our cameramen went out and got a bunch of ingredients and I just have to shoot it this morning. So we're off to the races. I'm quickly taking a look at uh, the, the ingredients, which is mainly tomatoes. And he brought me all the stuff that I'm gonna need for a bruschetta or a caprese. So I'm gonna go down that road. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of things this morning. I'm going to, again, shoot with the 70D and I'm gonna work with the 90PC lens on this. Have not used that before, so I wanna see what that combination of the perspective correction lens along with that 1.6 crop factor is gonna look like. And I'm gonna shoot this two ways. One, we have a much brighter day today. There's a ton of light streaming in. So we're gonna soften that with some silks over the windows and we're gonna capitalize on a bright, sunny, natural light source that we're gonna kinda tamp down a little bit with some diffusion. And then we're gonna put on a light that you would never use and that is a giant strip bank. And I'm gonna show you how, even if I've got the wrong gear, I can still make a great image by capitalizing on part of that light and making a solid image. So first thing I'm gonna do is figure out my environment, my set. I grabbed a surface that I really like that I think is pretty and I quickly grabbed three plates off the shelf. I'm just going to take a couple quick shots to decide which one I want and then I'm going to go right into it. So in the effort of speed, I'm just going to do this really quickly and one of the ways I'm going to take a quick look at the set, I've got this first plate out here. I'm just going to set the second one over it, lower it down, put my tomatoes on there and then I can pop another and kind of quickly keep moving because I don't want to waste much time. Kind of like that plate. Huh. So from a pure prop and set point of view, I actually like this third plate. It's gonna be a total hassle for me because it's got kind of a lip it's curved a little bit, which is gonna make the bruschetta hard. But I'm gonna make it work because I really like the lines that are going in it. I think it's nice, it's gonna be really cool with the natural light. So these other two are nice and simple, but I'm gonna stay away from them. So time to hit the kitchen. Okay, so we have a ton of really fresh, really nice ingredients, a great selection of tomatoes, and some great farm bread. So we're gonna make a caprese salad, which is just tomato, mozzarella, fresh basil, and I'm gonna grill some bread and maybe do some toast points kind of in the stack in the background. Um, let's get started. So I'm just going to work with my food here and go for the best slices that I can. I want this to look nice and fresh and full. I'm going to avoid the center completely because I don't want the stem. This is really one of the fun things about doing food portfolio work. You just get to play with your food. So ones I'm not going to use, I'm going to set to the side. Oh wow, look at that color. That's cool. So one of the things I'm also doing is I'm looking for variants in color. I've got a couple different reds. I've got this deep, deep red, green, almost going to black. And then I've got a couple different yellows. That's going to give me some variety and again, add some interest to this shot. So we're going to play around with that a little bit. Now these tomatoes, are not quite ripe. They're just a couple days away from being ripe, which is good because they're, they're firm. So they're not gonna lose their body when they go out on set, which I want. God, this knife is a beautiful thing. All right, I think I have enough tomatoes to build this. So let's pick out my heroes, or at least make a pile. I'm gonna start to cut some mozzarella and we'll be in good shape. These are pretty too. So 
So again, one thing you'll notice here as I'm working is <clears throat> I've got myself an apple box over here because I want to get low. Keep in mind I'm going to be looking, you know, camera-wise pretty low into this thing. So I want to build from that point of view. So that, that's without question the foundation of where I'm going to start with this. So I kind of really like what's going on here. I may add a couple other things just for interest. Because this could be a bit unusual. And, you know, really I'm just having a good time playing with the food and coming up with something I think is really going to be visually interesting. I'm kind of liking the way this is looking. This is a pretty full plate. More full than I would, might normally go, but I kind of like its direction, so we're gonna go with this. Last thing I wanna do is I wanna get a little fresh basil on there. I'm probably gonna put that on last. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, and I need a little bit of oil on there as well. 